We are all waiting for it, impatiently sitting here, checking discords and twitters, waiting for the time to come where Intrepid Studios announces that Alpha 2 is about to begin. I mean, it's been three years this August since anyone outside of Intrepid Studios or the Phoenix Initiative backers have been able to play it, and it's been like eight years since the game was announced, so our time is due, and it is getting very close. At the end of last year, it was announced that Alpha 2 would start up at some point in Quarter 3, a time frame that is rapidly approaching as the first day of Quarter 3 is less than two months away, and one that has been confirmed by Intrepid to still be on track. See the hype growing for Alpha 2 coming up, you know, third quarter this year, and we are still on schedule for the, for that um, for that date. <clears throat> so when exactly we're going to be able to jump into the world of Vera and actually play? Well, no date has actually been given yet. If you watched my April stream breakdown, I think I gave a pretty good idea of when to expect it. Roughly four weeks ago, on April 10th, Intrepid Studios finished what they are calling Milestone 8, and based off how Intrepid talks about milestones, it seems to be roughly 8 to 10 weeks for each. This can obviously vary more depending on the scope of what they are working on, but it gives us a pretty good idea of narrowing down the month. We also learn of what the next two milestones are. Currently, Milestone 9, the one we're in right now, we will be a feature complete when it comes to our entrance criteria for Alpha 2. Some of this work, I imagine, is on the Bard, which we know we'll be seeing in the next couple months, and perhaps the Rogue archetype as well, which was once said to be one of the archetypes that will be present during Alpha 2's launch. Uh, and in Milestone 10, we will be polishing and, and essentially, you know, making that stuff ready from a player perspective for bug Alpha fixing. 2. And bug fixing is a big part of that, obviously. Um, so we'll be squashing lots of bugs. We'll need some fly swatters at the studio uh, from the community if you want to send some over. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, there's a, a lot of great progress. A lot of don't tease of them, Stephen. They will, they want to they want to help. <laughs> They're like, let me in. I will find the bugs for you. <laughs> Um, I assume we'll be going through and making sure that there are minimal game-breaking bugs or broken launch content, but they won't 100% wipe all of this out because that's what us Alpha 2 testers are for, and last we heard, Margaret said that there are over 7,000 bugs that have already been reported by Phoenix Initiative testers, while some of them were duplicate bugs from Alpha 1. Based off that 8-10 to 10 week prediction of each milestone, that puts us around June 5th being the end of Milestone 9 on the 8 week mark, which also lines up with us seeing the Bard as based off of the couple months timeline that they gave us would put it as a June livestream reveal potentially. At this point of time is when I personally predict that Alpha 1 testers will also get in to start spot testing heading into Milestone 10. If we are not going to be brought in to help test wars in the next few weeks, a feature that is very dependent on numbers, then I don't think we will be brought in until it's time to squash all of the bugs. Bringing in Alpha 1 testers at the Milestone 10 marker is going to give them a larger number of players to stress test the servers in the weeks leading up to Alpha 2 launch and allowing them to potentially find more bugs at a faster rate because that's what having a large amount of numbers will do. But at any point before that, if we aren't being brought in to test the wars, then I don't expect that Intrepid will actually bring in Alpha 1 testers before Milestone 10 because they currently have PI and Intrepid's own QA team to really test and fine tune those specific features to get them playable. Milestone 10 based off the 8 week mark would be ending around July 31st, the first month of quarter 3. So we can really rule out July as an option. Option. Not that many of you were actually thinking that Alpha 2 would drop in July based off my poll, but if both of these milestones run around 8 weeks, then we could probably expect Alpha 2 to drop at some point in August. If they run closer to the 10 week mark or longer, then Alpha 2 is pushing into September of being the launch month. And if my predictions are correct, it explains why we are so close to quarter 3, but haven't had a month narrowed down for us yet. I think it's really going to depend on how long Milestone 9 runs for, to make sure Alpha 2 has all of the content they plan, and at the end of this point, they'll have a much better idea of if we were landing in August or September. When Alpha 2 launches, if you are in it, you're in it for the long run. This means constant ashes of creation testing. Alpha 2 is meant to be persistent through the entirety to an extent. There will still be server downtime and patches and things like that, and Intrepid will do whatever they need to to make sure the game is running to their standards. So if something breaks and they need to bring the game offline for two weeks to fix it, they will because it's an alpha. It's not the launch of the game, and people really need to get that stuck in their head. We are not 
playing the final version of Ashes of Creation, and we're not even going to be close to playing that version. Alpha 2 is not going to be a short test either. We won't be playing Alpha 2 this fall and then expecting the betas to drop in the winter. Intrepid is going to introduce new content to Alpha 2 as it becomes available, and they still have a lot of world to build. So I predict we will have a year of testing at the very least. Maybe two. It really depends on how fast they can put out new content, react to bugs, and how many people they add to the team to continue to ramp things up. Once they get the core systems working though, it should help speed up the process a bit because once they're more on the world building side of things and less on the system design and nodes and class design and all of that, where a large chunk of the time is going into, it should really help get the game done that much faster. But with that being said, no matter when Alpha 2 drops, no matter when these milestones end, we are getting real close because we have two months at the least and five months at the very most of when we're going to finally get our hands on Alpha 2, which is an amazing feeling after waiting three years to finally jump into the game again.